Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at a robot vacuum. It is the iLife V3S. Now just a quick story about this. I just happened to be at the post office of all places uh, here in Australia and I saw this guy sitting on the shelf and he was clearance item and they wanted $99 for this thing and I said, you know what, I already have a robot vacuum but what's better than one robot vacuum, but two robot vacuums, one for upstairs, one for downstairs. Perfect. Uh, I have to admit that I love robot vacuums. I think they're a game changer. I can don't think I will ever go without one. Um, but anyway, for 99 bucks, this was definitely a steal in my opinion. So as you can see, it is just your standard circle shape. Um, there's a couple different things about this one compared to my other one and previous robot vacuums that I've had. So I just want to quickly go over how this guy works. So first of all, obviously you can see it's your standard uh, circular shape. It's got the front bumper here. So when it bumps up against things, uh, it will change directions. So uh, for 99 bucks, you're not going to get one of these fancy ones that maps the floor or anything like that. This guy just bumps into stuff randomly and essentially changes course and eventually it manages to get the whole floor. Now, some people say, well, how does it get the whole floor if it's just bumping around? Um, I find that in my place, which is an apartment, um, it can get the entire floor pretty well. Um, there may be on occasion some spots that it misses, but it, it does a pretty good job of, of getting everything uh, as far as just kind of just moving around and eventually getting everything. But anyway, so uh, on the side here is essentially a barrel plug charging port. Now this guy comes with its own charging base uh, that it will find automatically when it is low on power. So um, that's candy, but if you do want to charge it just via the barrel plug, it is right there. Here's your on off switch. So you just flick that up and down when you want to essentially activate it. Um, not all that much going on on the front, obviously. Uh, basically here you have the button, you press that, and that will start its cleaning mode. Um, obviously here's your front bumper. It's, this is not a sensor or anything like that. It just hits things and it will change direction. So let's flick it over and take a look at the bottom because this is a little bit more interesting. So if you look on the back here, what you'll notice is obviously you have your little steering wheel bit. You have your uh, sweepers. These kind of spin around and they feed things into this section right here. And I'll just get into that in a second. Uh, but here's your um, essential wheels that drive your vacuum. These guys bounce up and down. So they're pretty good at getting over things. I want to say like if you have any rugs in your house, this guy will be able to clear them. No problem. Um, here are your two connectors to charge. So when it gets to the base, it will sit itself on these two connectors and it will charge that way. Um, now, like I said here, here is the um, intake slot or whatever you want to call it. So basically your sweeping uh, arms or whatever you want to call them, push stuff into here and this has a suction when it's on and basically it traps stuff inside. So now on my last one, the, the reservoir tank or whatever you want to call it, the thing that collects all of your uh, dirt and grime and all that sort of stuff is located on the bottom and you yanked it out this way. But this one, actually the way you um, access it is through the top of the vacuum. So if we flick it back over, and you'll notice this is pretty new because obviously I haven't taken the stickers off. But anyway, uh, if you press right here where it says push, this whole lid pops up. Now, you yank this guy out, and essentially, you can probably see there's still there's some dirt in there because I did run it because I wanted to make sure that it worked, obviously. Uh, but basically, this whole guy pulls out. So this is your sort of intake slot. So remember when we were on the back, that's where everything goes. So the suction happens, and it goes in here, and basically you have a little HEPA filter or whatever here. I'm not really sure. I don't really suffer that much from allergies, so um, I don't know if that really works at all. So you can definitely replace that. So all these blue bits you can replace. And then essentially to dump this guy out, what you do is you yank this up. And I'm having a bit of trouble doing it. Um, and basically that's it. There's all your junk. And as you can see, it does a decent job. Like that is pretty disgusting. Um, <laughs> You know, and that's what I mean about loving these little vacuum cleaners because I can just set them to, to go like twice a day or whatever and it picks up so much. It actually like worries me because before I was just kind of like 
dusting and you know vacuuming as I needed or like at least once a week. But it's clear to me after using these guys that you need to do it every day. And that would drive me crazy because it's a lot of time and effort that I don't want to spend mopping and cleaning and vacuuming and sweeping and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, so again, this guy, really easy to pull out. You just flick it open like that, yank this little blue guy out, tip it out into the bin, replace it, and it's good to go. Just pop it back in, close the, close the front, and basically all you need to do is hit that clean button and it, off it will go. So um, again, just a couple things about this. When the battery does die, it does go back home to charge. I've found that in my house, it does that really easily. Uh, I don't really have to do it. It never really gets caught or gets lost or just dies in the middle of the floor. It always makes its way back to its little base. Um, the other thing about this guy is that it does have sensors. So if you do have stairs, it will stop itself and it will move around. So there's sensors on the bottom that will tell it when um, it's about to fall off something. So you don't have to worry about it falling off anything. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with this for $99. Like I said, it is a dumb vacuum, so it does just sort of move around and bump into things uh, and change direction. But for the price, I'm really, really happy with it. Now, one of the things I do want to talk about is this intake section here. So on my other vacuum, there is actually a roller here. So you have these sweeping arms that push it, and then there's a roller in the middle that turns, right? And it's got sort of bristles and everything to pick up stuff. Now, that is really good for carpet. You'll notice that this one doesn't have it, right? It's just got these little sweep arms that push things into this suction intake, right? Now, what I've found is I've tested this on both carpet and um, tile floors. This unit definitely works better on tile floors compared to carpet. Can you use it on carpet? Yes, it will definitely work. But I find my other one that has that sort of, um, not really sure what you would call it, but it's basically a, a cylinder with bristles on it that spins around during the operation of the machine. It's much, much better at picking up junk off of the carpet. Whereas uh, this one is a bit better on the hardwood or tile floors. And I'm pretty sure that um, iLife markets this vacuum as such that it's better for um you know hardwood or tile floors or whatever um so that's my only real complaint about this particular unit is that it's really only good for those hardwood tile floors number two thing that you have to worry about with this guy is that this one is very loud uh compared to my other iLife uh, robot vacuum which i did a video on ages ago and uh, you can go back into my videos and have a look at that one but that one's much much quieter this one is loud it is like a jet engine or something is going off it does a good job, but it's loud. So typically I only run it when I'm not home. So uh, just a quick heads up if you do decide to grab this one. But like I said, for 99 bucks, this is great, especially if you can find one at this price and you've never had a robot vacuum before and you've been on the fence or whatever, I mean, 100 bucks is a steal. Anyway, let's um, fire this guy up and uh, get some footage of him bumping into stuff. So as you can see, he may not be the smartest guy or the smartest gadget in the world, uh, but he does a decent job. He's quite loud, but, uh, you know, I can forgive him for $99. 
Anyway, that is the iLife V3S robotic vacuum. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely shoot me a comment if you have any questions. And uh, I'll be back next week with another video. This is Gizmo Joe, signing off.